back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Parker Chase, of course, who will be with Venturini Motorsports for 10 races um, in the 2022 uh, Arkham Menard Series season. Uh, hey, Parker, how's it going, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So talk about uh, working with these guys again. Yeah, I started last year with five races with Venturini, and, uh, you know, it's pretty much just getting my feet wet and uh, the oval stuff you know, coming from my sports car background, just getting used to the mile and a half and short tracks and all the, all the other kinds of stuff that I guess I really need to learn. So, um, going into this year, we're doing 10 races, mainly all the, all the big tracks like, uh, Daytona, Talladega, Kansas, Phoenix, Charlotte, Bristol, um, you know, coming off those five races from last year, I think I have a little bit more knowledge than I did, you know, going into it at my first race at Charlotte. So um, it's going to be good to have a little bit of knowledge to build on from last year. And uh, I, st- I haven't got on a super speedway, so that'll be new to me. But other than that, I think everywhere else we go, will be um, relatively familiar. <laughs> yeah. So talk about what, you know, you're going to be at Daytona. You're going to be at the Arca test at Daytona. You're going to be down to Daytona a lot, of course, uh, yeah. with the IMS and stuff that you're doing with TCR and Herda um what's that going to be like um being a part of that test to go on a stock car i know you've been on daytona before but that was only the road course yeah now I, you're going to be on the big track obviously daytona is an iconic place um the 24 hour is an iconic race which i've already checked off my bucket list but i've never done just the oval so uh to go there and you know just run the, the traditional oval is something that i'm really looking forward to uh I think it's going to be quite a cool experience. Just I mean, the baking there is ridiculous. The first time I got on there when a sports car, that's the weirdest feeling to me was coming up usually like practically flat and going on the banking. You just feel like your whole body's turned 90 degrees. So, but yeah, I will go, I will be there for a while. I go there this weekend and I stay practically until the 30th. <laughs> and then I'm, uh, then I'm back there. Or I'm in New Smyrna doing uh speed weeks up until the race you're gonna be doing the world series of asphalt yeah is that what it's called yeah it's, yes, that, that's yeah. what it's called are you, so are you gonna run like a late model car are you gonna run the arc east race or what are you doing no it's a late model okay just to, just to clarify because i know that there's an arc east race down there too so no it's a late model all right um so talk about like i, I know you want to you know i know you come from a sports car background but you're kind of dipping your toe in a nascar a little well ARCA NASCAR a little bit they are the same thing but overall talk about where you want to where you want to focus at this year because it seems like you're you're going towards the stock car world but then again who knows yeah I I, when I was a little kid this was NASCAR was something that I liked and then as I started racing a little bit more I kind of faded um I started to enjoy the the road course stuff you know growing up in karting and then Moving up, I moved into sports cars, and so that's kind of what I've known um, up until pretty much last year. And uh, I, I don't, I just started. I guess it was 2020. I was doing some late model races at Hickory, and I really enjoyed it and wanted to progress on it. So I think this year is going to be a, a big year for me to uh, learn as much as I can, you know, grow as much as I can. And yeah, but like you said, I, I do think this is where my path is going, or my my career is going to to lead me. Um, I think I might be moving out out east soon, so I guess you could say, yeah, this is. Make the move some, to Charlotte. I think so. Yeah, so I think I think this is where my career is going to go. Yeah. So kind of talk about like some of the tracks that you're going to be running at. You, we mentioned Daytona. You're going to be at uh, both Phoenix races, both Kansas races. You're also going to be at Pocono, Talladega. You're going to be back at Charlotte again. Um, a lot of the bigger tracks in the get Bristol. Talk mm-hmm. about some of the some of the things that you're looking forward to with the schedule. I th- I guess just the new experiences. I mean, it's like I've said numerous times; it's still all new to me. So um, everywhere we go, well, I've been to. I guess that I go to, I've been to Phoenix, Kansas, and Charlotte, and I quite like Charlotte. I think it's it's so far it's one of my favorites. Um, I don't know why it's, it's just narrow and bumpy, so kind of feels like I'm back at Sebring or something. So it kind of feels, I don't know, just a little bit familiar with all the bumps, but um, I guess just going into it, looking forward to learning the new places and building on my knowledge. Yeah. 
So I also know that, you know, you also have your IMSA plans as well. You're going to be uh, running the TCR program with, uh, with Brian Herta again. Talk about that. What What's that going to be like this season? It's good. Uh, we're I'm going into my third year with a group of guys. So, um, you know, I haven't really, this is my first time that I've really stayed somewhere for an extensive period of time. So I think this year is going to be good. Me and uh, Harry Gottsack are teammates and we've been, best friends for the last five, six years. And then we have our engineer is also uh, a Texan. So he's worked with me for practically my whole car life. So the three of us know each other really well. We work together really well. Um, and we're also expanding to six cars on the team from four this year. So it's it's going to be a massive program, but um, I know we can do it. And I, I think – with me, Harry, and our engineer, Hunter, um, we're going to have one of the, the strongest cars in the field. Yeah. Um, what do you want to accomplish in this uh, this ARCA test this weekend? I'm kind of going into it open-minded. Uh, you know, I really, I really don't have – there's nothing to win here. So, I think just go in there and figure out the super speedways as much as I can and learn from all my teammates as much as I can so that we're as ready as we can be for the race come here in a month. All right. Well, Parker Chase, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Uh, we'll see you. Good luck at the Architest at Daytona. We'll talk to you throughout the year. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.